Okay, everybody, I am so excited today because I am joined by the one and only Sophie Nalise, who stars in E Rain as Vow in theaters April 15th. How are you doing today, Sophie? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. Uh, I absolutely love this film. I'm so excited for people to see it, and your performance is incredible. So when you prep for a part like this, do you read the memoir and the play, or is that almost too much and overwhelming? Um, I read the memoir. I didn't read the play, but I definitely read the memoir. Um, and it gave me a lot of insight on her life before the war and her life after the war. Um, and then I made my own research parallel to it, trying to find as many archives as I could about her. Um, I didn't find much in her 20s, obviously. Um, but I found a lot of her later in her life. And, and it just struck me how full of light and how joyful she still was despite everything that had happened. Um, and then obviously I uh, had to work with a dialect coach in order to get the Polish accent down. Okay, so I was gonna ask you about the accent. It's a great job at the accent. So working with that coach, how much practice do you have before you had that moment where you're like, okay, I got this down now, or you felt confident? About a month beforehand, um, we would meet like a few times a week over Zoom. And then I would try to like practice on my own just to have it like very fluent and locked down. And I would just, there's so many clips of me like around the house doing chores and just speaking out loud um, and just practicing like with my, with my mom. And um, yeah, so it, it's, it's really, I love, I love doing accents. I think they're, they're so fun. And what's cool is that they kind of, once you know the, the codes and signs, you can kind of do it so now if I wanted to I could just switch back to like a weird well not a weird it's not a weird accent but I could just switch back to Polish whenever I want to so I think that's that's really fun yeah you're like stacked in that skill too also being able to speak fluent in French which is awesome um yeah I also want to know too a lot of people I've seen comment about the trailer on this that are excited because they loved you in the book Thief which is kind of a similar film was there anything you took from that experience that you brought here that maybe prepared you for this um, I definitely had done my fair share of research about the Holocaust when taking on the book Thief. So all the classics like The Boy in the Striped Pajamas and Schindler's List and um, The Pianist. And I so I had a, a good idea of uh, obviously what had happened. And I and I had been immersed in that world while doing the book Thief. Um, and so it was just like a, a refresher going back into Irina's vow. And um, I love it because the characters feel very similar in, in a lot of way. They share that same essence and that same kindness and selflessness and courageousness. Um, and so it just felt like the continuity of, of Liesl. Yeah, no, that's that's really interesting. And I mean, it's a heavy film and the amount of horror seen through the characters' eyes in scenes like that for you, does that take the life out of you or is it like a one take and you're done kind of thing? I'm not very method, so I will say that I can tap in and out of character pretty easily. This one was a little bit different because, I mean, it, it it's it's not like it's it's not um like what like in like Yellow Jackets for example, it's all fake, so it's 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 sad. But then you tap out of it, and you're like, that's done. As opposed to this, really happened. So coming in in the morning and seeing the rifles and the machinery and 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 it's a, it's a real story. And so it, it, it did definitely kind of, I carried it a little bit more home with me. And especially because we were shooting, um, on the border of Ukraine while the war was going on. Mm. And so coming home and seeing the refugees and, and the soldiers at the hotel, and it was like, it's still happening. Like atrocities like that are still ongoing. Sure. Um, and so it's just, it was quite a, a reality check and it, it, and it just felt, very surreal to kind of be um, amidst that. And it just felt even more important for us to do this movie. Yeah, for sure. And it's a really important film and it's going to teach people a lot about this story that a lot of people don't know. And I'm wondering too, when you get to that headspace and you're, you're feeling all these emotions, uh, do you have any rituals though that are a go-to for you that kind of immediately put you in a good headspace to get you kind of just back on track in a way? Um. Well, to tap into the emotion, I kind of, listen to music and and that really gets me going I have like my playlist with all my songs that put me in the mood but afterwards when I come back home or I'm on my lunch break um my mom was actually on on this shoot with me uh she came with me to Poland and that was really nice because she's kind of like my emotional emotional punching bag and I and I and I have someone to vent to at night and um 
also just on weekends, like she's like my best friend and it just feels nice to be around someone that I don't have to speak work with. And then I can just forget about, uh, about the week and just, we would go out and kind of do nothing, honestly, because I was so exhausted, but just to have someone to walk around the city with and that I could just hang out with was really helpful. No, that's great. And that's great. You have a good support system in your mom and yeah, doing nothing. I feel like will recharge you um, yeah. in a way. And I'm sorry, is it Christmas where you are? Cause that's beautiful behind you with that. No, it's, it's like, there's a snowstorm. I woke up and had no electricity. It's been a very chaotic morning and yes, I am in Montreal and yeah, it feels like wow. Christmas. It, it looks beautiful. Yeah. Um, so also you had mentioned yellow jackets and I still find myself thinking about that amazing cry you did in the finale of season one and your awesome episode season two episode six uh so do you go to bed at night like like yeah i did that like is that a huge confidence boost for your acting ability and you could you could ask everyone on on yellow jackets people have had to like come to my trailer because they could hear me sob and because i was so unsatisfied by my performances wow. so i i don't think i've ever gone to bed thinking um thinking that i i I don't think any actor ever goes to bed proud of their performance. Um, maybe, hopefully. Um, I'm I'm very critical. I'm very hard on myself. And I do watch myself back because I think it's a great way of learning from my mistakes. Um, and at the end of the day, I think I, I on the day, did the best I could. But n no, I, I do not go to bed proud of, of, of my performances, unfortunately. Well, you should be because it's amazing work. But that's good. You're always Thank driven you. to do even the best you can Better, that's awesome yeah. and yeah. my last question i'm always excited for your next segment of bravo so on your instagram story i've <laughs> never in my life seen someone drop so much food and then i think yesterday you had coffee beans everywhere is this a daily everywhere. occurrence for you is this like is there stuff that's only we're only scratching the surface what we see no pun intended uh almost it, it was really funny people like tend to comment like you're doing it on purpose and i was like i spent like 30 minutes yesterday cleaning up after there's coffee grounds everywhere like everywhere and so I'm like I wish because I would save a lot of time if I did this on purpose but no um I I I just I don't know maybe it's because I'm not focused on what I'm doing or I just I'm just naturally very clumsy um and it's it is almost a daily occurrence I can't even buy I think that the dry cleaner next to me has more money it has all my money because like <laughs> weekly I need to go drop my clothes because I have stains all over Oh man, but look, we we have joy in it. It's exciting and we're happy you share those fun Thank kind you. of things. So I hope a reality, you know, TV station picks it up. So watch Sophie, everybody do amazing work per usual in Irena's Val in theaters April 15th. Thank you so much for joining me, Sophie. And I hope to talk to you in the future. Thank you for having me.